Hello everyone, I'm Brian Johnson. Do you know there are lots of children who have sensory differences? For them, they might see, smell, feel, taste, hear, and experience the world a little differently. And for them, coming to the hospital might be a particularly tricky time. To support them, the Children's Occupational Therapists, the Sensational Thinking Project, and the mascot Bobby have been working hard to make the Great North Children's Hospital a safer sensory place to visit. Shall we find out a little bit more about Bobby's visit to the hospital with his mum? However, then, let's read Bobby's Big Day Out, which was written by Alice Gare and Philippa Gaunt and illustrated by Sarah Dixon. Today is a big day for Bobby. He has to go to hospital for an appointment. There could be lots of sensory experiences today. Normally, Bobby has his routine. He gets up and he cleans his fur, he brushes his teeth, he eats his breakfast, he goes out to the park, but not today. Bobby's worried about his appointment. Don't worry, it'll all be okay, says Mom, whilst giving Bobby a big squeeze and showing him where they're going on her phone. Bobby's still nervous, but he and his mum get ready to go. They head outside as they need to catch the bus. Bobby and his mum walk towards the bus stop. It is a very busy road. Cars are honking their horns, bells ring on bicycles, the lorries roar past. It's so loud, mum, says Bobby. Bobby's mum smiles. It won't be long. We'll be on the bus soon. Bobby can see the bus arriving. Bobby's mum gives him his ear defenders, which makes some of the noises quieter during the bus journey. Bobby jumps on to find a seat, but it's very busy. Bobby manages to squeeze into a seat, and soon they're on their way. Bobby uses his favourite fidget toy to distract him and keep him calm on the bus ride. The bus moves along the busy roads. I can see the hospital, says Bobby. He jumps to his feet, but the bus has not stopped. Whoa, says Bobby, who nearly falls over, but he manages to stop and steady himself. The bus slows to a stop. And Bobby jumps off the bus with his mum. Lots of people must have appointments today, says Bobby, as they move through the crowd. Bobby watches the door spin and starts to feel a little dizzy. However, Mum spots another door, and they walk through easily. Where do we go now, asks Bobby. Bobby's mum gets her phone out for directions. It's this way, Bobby, says Mum, as she points forward. Bobby sees a big room with lots of chairs. He tries to pick a seat whilst Mum books in at the desk. Bobby sniffs and sniffs. And what is that smell? Bobby can sense a lot of smells mixed together and it makes him feel worried. Seeing Bobby struggle, Mum helps Bobby grab his favourite teddy from his bag. He cuddles into his teddy whose familiar smell and soft fur help Bobby feel much better. Bobby gets his fidget out and spins it, watching it closely. Bobby calls the nurse, who shows him into the room. He jumps on the scales and they measure his height. Ooh, you've got so tall, said the nurse. The nurse wraps a cuff around Bobby's leg. I just need to check your blood pressure. The machine's quite noisy and squeezes tight, but soon it stops and Bobby can relax. All done. The doctor will see you now. Bobby remembers the kind and smiley doctor. Would it be okay if I check you over, please, she asks. Bobby nods so the doctor listens to his chest and feels his tummy. Open wide, says the doctor, and as Bobby opens his mouth, the doctor looks with a stick and a torch. Yeah, shouts Bobby, who does not like the taste. All done. I oh, know it's not nice, but you did really well, said the doctor. Mom gives Bobby a big hug and helps him put on his backpack, which makes him feel calm. Mom gives Bobby his favorite fruit, as he has been so good. Bobby bites down into his crunchy apple and the juice helps get rid of the taste of the stick, which feels good. The doctor waves goodbye to Bobby and his mum. 
as they head back to the bus. You did so well today, Bobby. I'm very proud, said Mum. Bobby feels great as he's managed his big day out. Bobby faced lots of sensory challenges on his trip to the hospital. Bobby did very well due to support from his family, healthcare team, and his coping strategies. Great job, Bobby.